Welcome to Scale Modeling Videos. Today's video build is about the Edward i16 Type 10 1x48 scale kit. Now I've already done an inbox review of this kit. Have a look at the link over here. Alright, that's enough talking for me. Let's get started. I'm just going to start off with the construction of the cockpit first. I'm just going to show you guys uh, the construction of the cockpit and the painting of the cockpit and applying the PE seat belts. Oh yeah. We're just going to give the uh, cockpit a wash with Vallejo Desert Dust. It's a light color, it's a light wash and I like to use that on dark colors because it gives a great contrast. We're going to use another light brown wash on the insides um, of the uh, fuselage. I like to use Tamiya Weathering Master Sets. I like to use them on my finger and then give the uh, whatever part I want to uh, highlight a rub with my finger. 
I'm going to do this quite a lot for this model as you see. With the fuselage, I glued half of it first, let that set for about a few hours, and then I glued the other half second, as you're seeing now. this kit there's a pretty big gap between the wings and the fuselage I used to me a basic putty unthinned uh, to fill this gap and also a bit on the top which I haven't shown here I sanded that down and then uh, rescribe some of the details To rescribe the detail, I use a, uh, a stencil, I uh, tape this down with masking tape and then I use a sharp needle-like rescriber to rescribe uh, the circle that I'm trying to rescribe here.
with the engine uh, I first uh, use Vallejo black wash to uh, highlight uh, the panel lines in there then I use panel line set to highlight all the gaps in between and then I paint the gaps in between using Tamiya XF1 For part of the landing gear, uh, we have to paint it chrome. So in order to do that, we're going to paint it gloss black first and then use Alclad Chrome 2 because Alclad Chrome 2 needs a gloss black base enamel under it. I'm going to post shade this uh, the top of the kit with flat white and then we're going to paint over that with uh, Humbrol 155 Olive Drab again to blend that in and it will create a very nice contrast. Now we need to have a very high contrast here because once we gloss coat it, it blends it all in. Uh, so if you don't have a high contrast, you'll lose the, uh, the post shading. I like to use Clever Putty to mask off uh, complex shapes like the inside of the landing gear at the bottom here. Now the bottom of the uh, fuselage is a light color. Now because it's a light color, we're going to pre-shade it instead of post-shade it and that'll show through because pre-shading always shows through better with light colors and uh, post-shading helps better with dark colors.
Now I lost some of the uh, video here and uh, yeah, I won't be able to show you guys the entire painting at the bottom. So yeah, yeah it is what it is guys, yeah, there it is. The kit is painted with enamel paints. Now we're going to use uh, Vallejo black wash, which is an acrylic wash, uh, straight over the top of the straight, straight over the top of the bottom of the uh, aircraft. It'll stain the paint a bit, but it'll blend everything in and highlight all the detail. And that's what we uh, we're going for for the bottom of the kit. The uh, acrylic washers, we just wiped them away with some water and uh, tissue paper and some earbuds. Now with the uh, gloss coat the pledge floor care, uh, once I've applied it, I've let that dry for an entire day, so 24 hours before I start applying um, decals.
With the canopy, I like to mask off every single frame one by one uh, and paint that piece of the frame. And then unmask it, remask it, and then paint the next piece of the frame. So for the uh, top of the aircraft, I'm using Tamiya Paneline Ascent, which is an enamel wash. Uh, I've already gloss coated the uh, kit with Future, but because, um, and I know the uh, underlying paint is enamel, I couldn't use an acrylic wash on the top because it was too matte and uh, the wash would have just stained the aircraft too much and it would just change the color uh, and completely darkened it. Now the bottom of the kit is glossier than the top of the kit so we're going to use our clad flat coat to coat the bottom of the kit and for the top we're going to use a commercial uh, matte coat that gives more of a sheen finish uh, because it's already very matte anyways at the top. For the uh, final part on this kit, I like to use to me a Weathering Master uh, sets. We use the white, which is the snow, and the black, which is the suit, to highlight the raised detail, the ribbing effect, uh, and it gives a really nice effect as you see here in the video.
The last thing I'm going to do on this kit is we're going to dirty up the decals a little bit using Tamiya Weathering Master sets and then uh, the kit should be done. It gives the decals uh, you know, a slightly dirty look uh, that can never really be cleaned up and it, uh, it works especially well on white decals. So um, the kit's now uh, pretty much complete guys um, and uh, yeah if you like the video Please give the video a like and you know if you like my channel for more videos subscribe to my channel guys um, so yeah have a look at the kit uh, and uh, we'll have the final reveal soon